What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Shout out to the EA Creator Network for allowing me to capture this early Madden 24 footage. And just remember that all Madden 24 footage is a work in progress. In today's video, I'm going to be running with my Raiders. Shout out my Raider Nation fans out there. I know plenty of you guys are Raider fans and follow me from Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be. And if you're getting Madden 24 this year, you're definitely going to want to watch this video to see what the Raiders are working with. I know it was a crazy offseason. The NFL schedule actually starts in a few weeks. So I felt like now is the perfect time to get you some Madden 24 Raiders content. Breaking down the team, checking the ratings, checking the abilities, seeing who left, who we added. And I mean, Derek Carr, I'm going to miss my dog, but you know, it is what it is. So let me know what you guys are most excited for in this NFL season. So now let's go check out what the Raiders are working with this NFL season. All right, Raider Nation, it's finally time for some gameplay with the Madden 24 Raiders, the new look Raiders. Um... I'm playing my guy user lurk yt if you're not familiar with his content i will make sure to leave a comment and description down below also if you do enjoy this content subscribing with that push notification icon would mean a lot um let's get it let's finally get some gameplay i'm gonna be rocking both everything raiders raiders stadium raiders team raiders offense raiders defense let's get into the matchup so for all my raider fans out there that love rocking with their playbook and their team this is the video for you to watch boom here we go inside of allegiant stadium he's gonna be rocking with the eagles he's an eagles fan i told him all right bro use your team i'll use mine and this is gonna be a great video we're gonna be kicking the ball off first he is on ps5 so no cross play action but still i'm hyped for this gameplay i know you guys are as well He's going to be taking the ball out with Covey, and honestly, a pretty good return. Hits me, hits me with a juke, but I'm not sure who number 99 is. Whoever that is, absolutely put him into the ground. And man, I should have checked the Raiders' playbook and what they were rocking with on defense. I know on offense, they were you know, kind of rocking that Josh McDaniels type, uh, Patriots type of offense. But on defense, I was definitely, you know, like, I didn't know what they had. And now I see, you know, I got a little 6-1. Time to get glitchy with it one time. Um, hopefully my cornerbacks and secondary could hold it, for, hold it down for me. Um, I know this is going to be a really good gameplay and here we go. Let's just try to get some pressure early with the Raiders front seven. He's going to hit us with, uh, Jalen hurts read option. And uh, that actually had some action. If he kept running with it, I think he kind of stutter stopped for a second immediately after that. I'm putting conservative defense on to focus on the QB. I'm not letting Jalen Hurts cook me again because that could have been bad. That could have been a gain of like 20 yards, uh, maybe even a touchdown. Instead, he only ends up getting three, thankfully. Or he actually ends up losing three. So right here, he's going to do a little motion. We're going to run a little cover too. Trying to get a little bit of pressure with our front seven. That's definitely the highlight of this defense, of the Raiders' defense is our front seven. We got pretty solid linebackers. And we also got some... Ooh, we got some pressure. We almost get to get an interception, man. Uh, I don't know who came on the heat. I think it was Mad Max Crosby. He almost gets us our first interception. And this is this is what you got to do with the Raiders, man. You got to send the heat, and you got to hopefully you got to hope one of these guys on the D line or on, in the secondary make a play. Sorry if I'm scrambling my words, guys. I'm actually just hyped to get this gameplay underway. Right here, we're just gonna run a little cover three action. I want to make sure the the sidelines are covered. And that's where he goes to. Great play. I had a feeling verticals was coming. Um, I wanted to put a purple, but I didn't want to over adjust. You know, it's a feel out drive. Um, it's only the third play of the drive. You got to make sure your opponent works for it. My guy is running a, a little Y off close. I think this is U trips, right? Uh, so we're just going to have to, you know, slow down the run game, which I'll take it, right? You know, that's not a touchdown, but it definitely isn't a, a, isn't a run stuff. He's going to go no huddle up tempo. I like this with him. For him uh, with the Eagles. I got to make sure Dallas Goddard is covered. That's my responsibility with Diablo. We need a little bit of pressure. He blocks everyone. Goes to the running back. Nice read to new, newly added DeAndre Swift. Um, and he's going up tempo again. So like I said, I got to just make sure I'm good to go. Get the pressure. We haven't really got any pressure yet. And he goes up top. And that's a new feature they added. You just drop, you just drop high balls. I'm not a fan of it. But hey, it definitely helped me out right there. Cannot complain one bit. Right here, we're going to play a little bit of coverage with Max Crosby. You know, it's not the best look, but, you know, he, he's dotting me up. He's making me uh, work for it. Right there, Trevin Morig. Great, great coverage. And, man, um, definitely the best, you know, result I could have asked for. 
And I mean, I need a little bit of pressure from these guys. I'm sending six, almost five to six every play. Uh, we're going to take a risk right here, guys. We're going to shade down our man coverage and try to get glitchy. And it almost works for us. Mori almost goes crazy. We'll take it. Fourth down. I 100% thought he was going to hit me over the top with Dallas Goddard. Thankfully, he missed the read. And oh my gosh, I forgot. He has Quez Watkins, who's a 98 speed guy. I actually have to be careful playing these guys because that could have easily... Uh, that could have easily been a touchdown to Goddard. Right here, a little cover two shell. I'm taking a huge risk right here. I am taking a huge risk. I don't like the shell. I'm going to call a timeout. Man, I don't know if I, I if 6-1 is a move because he's audibling around a lot. He's doing a lot of nice adjustments. Um, and, you know, his, his receivers are just so much better than my secondary. So uh, after this drive, I might be hopping out to 6-1 because it's I'm not, have, I'm not getting the best results right now. 100% going to take a risk right here, guys. I'm going to get really, really aggressive. And the main thing of this of this play right here is, do I get pressure? If I get pressure, we will be all right. If we don't, it's going to be a long game. It's going to be a long game, simply put. This is a high-level chess match right now, guys. Uh, I just took a timeout on his fourth down. The next play, he takes a timeout. So finally, we're going to get into this play. Let's see what he cooks up. Um, I'm really just, I, gotta, I just got to run to the running back right here. He puts his running back on a route. He gets stuck. And wow, I definitely get lucky right there that his running back got stuck. He had an open post route. Man, the 6-1. I mean, I, it's, it's coming in, but it's taking its time. I'll tell you what that. But the Raiders pressure comes home for us. And huge stop on fourth down. And two, I mean, wow. Let's, let's, just, let's just settle in on offense. You know, get the, get the you know, guys ready to go. We got to, you know, I got to sub in a few guys. But we're going to start off with a run play to Josh Jacobs. And see what we're cooking up. And I'll take it, right? Like two, three, four yards. It was just bad stick. I could have bounced it out to the outside. I'm not the best runner, guys. You guys know me as a passer and for my defense. So, you know, if, if I have some sus run stick here and there, just 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 get off my case, you know. I'm not a, I'm not a runner. We got Mayer in the game. Even though he's a low rated overall, trust me, he won't be when the game, season starts. We're going to go to the flats right here. Okay, I don't know why Josh Jacobs isn't in. Um, who was that? But, I mean, he ends up getting a good amount of yards. That's Brandon Bolden from the Patriots. I needed Josh Jacobs right there, but nonetheless, we get a first down. So, shout out to Bolden. Cooking up a nice little route combo right here. Just trying to get, you know, uh, something open. And we got him open, and Jimmy G sails the ball. Man, please don't be a, a story. To please don't be a foreshadowing of the Raiders season this year. I needed that to be on the money to run for, and he just said, you know what? Super Bowl, tw uh, whatever su that Super Bowl was, flashback. Man, that was tough. Right here, we're good, though. We're going to hit Josh Jacobs. He's going to get us a nice catch with that backfield master and some nice rack yards. And here's the Raiders playbook, guys. I'm sorry, I haven't even showed it. Um, but here are all the formations. Slow it down if you have to. I'm really thinking this tight slots, whatever this... Uh, Tide slot flip might be money. The only issue is it only has six plays. So right here, we're going to try to run the ball. He has some demons on the uh, D-line. We all know how good this Eagles D-line is. But that's just easy pickings. Hit him with a juke to the right. Can we be out of there? Stop it. Go. Ooh, I needed that to be a touchdown. I, I would have been a nice clip, man. That would have been a nice clip to start off the Madden 24 season. I would have definitely put him on a clip if I hit that stop and go. That and if only Josh Jacobs had like two more speed. 90, 90, what, whatever, 87 speed is just not it, guys. Um, but he's he's a beast, bro. He's a he honestly is a beast. Right here, nothing open. Great defense, some man shade underneath in the red zone. Got to respect it. Got to tip the cap to that one. Here's the thing, though. If he shows me that shell again, I'm single coverage throwing this to the inside to Devonte Adams, 100%. He's on um whoever the safety is. So that's one thing I gotta watch out for. I'm going to put an option route because if it's man, he's going to cook him to the sideline. Let's see where his user goes. And do we get it with Devontae? He somehow catches it. Oh, my goodness. That was a deflection, and he caught it off the deflection. We're going to have to replay that. If it's man, he's going to cook him to the sideline. Let's see where his user goes. And do we get it with Devontae? He somehow catches it. And, I mean, I don't, I've never seen that animation. He has red zone threat. That might have been that. He has Acrobat. That also could have been that. I mean, that should have been a dot. He deflected it, so thankfully he didn't pick it. But we somehow catch it with Devontae Adams. Honestly, a, a really good play, bro. A really, I'm hyped for that play. I mean, that's just Devontae Adams doing Devontae Adams things. 
Uh, Jimmy G, you got to get that ball a little more inside. But you know that's that's on me, man. My passing wasn't there. He shaded underneath. I, I didn't I didn't respect Bradbury enough, you know, versus Devontae Adams, and it showed. But we honestly, he, we still get bailed out. We get the touchdown. Man, I'm I'm just I'm actually in disbelief of that play. That was a, a top play for sure. All right, guys, I sent the Hounds all the last drive. We're gonna mix it up right here. Gonna run a little bit of like cover two out of this man, like kind of disguise it. Okay, he's gonna be running the ball right here out of the eye close. Um, we're gonna shift our line to the right to make sure we kind of slow down the run. And who knows? Maybe we might even stop it. He goes RPO. We could have made a play on that, but you know we're not tripping. We don't want to like you know have a busted play touchdown. Great read right there. That was the first time I've uh, seen an RPO this year, and it looked pretty good. Obviously, I am in 6-1. Not to probably the best defense for that. Uh, if he goes out on that again, we'll probably run like uh, we'll probably run cover four quarters and match onto that. So let's see what we got right here. He's probably gonna run it right here, and that's what he does. But the Raiders run D, man. Do not sleep on the Raiders run D. Our pass D, sure, say whatever you want. Our pass rush, phenomenal. Our pass, our rush D, you know, it's 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 pretty good. It's pretty solid. You know, they'll get our stops in the run game. We don't really get gashed. Um, that could be for a couple reasons. You know, whether they're just passing all game versus us or whatever it might be. But trust me, our run defense, I really think it's solid. Right here, trying to run a little bit of Mabel. We didn't get our last adjustment set off in time. But it doesn't matter. Great D. We're going to just swat this down with Morig. I didn't want to take any chances and pick that off. That could have gotten agged. I could have picked it off, but we'll live for another down. Great swat. That's going to have to. That's kind of how you have to play in this year's Madden, man. You have to swat, and you have to just you know keep trying to play defense. Because we're playing good defense right now. Don't. I'm not even tripping about that. I could have picked it off potentially, but man, I, I'm liking the defense we're playing 100% right now. Um, just got to make sure we get off the field right here. We're in a little bit of match. I didn't want to run coverage with my guys. I feel like I'd be wasting them. Just I just really need a little bit of pressure from these guys. I'm taking huge risks on the left and the right sideline. I got a hard flat. Um, Diablo can't really jump. He's a linebacker. That's one rule of Madden. If you're a linebacker, you can't really jump. Right here. Let's hit him real quick. And he breaks the tackle. I mean, great, great play to Dallas Goddard. I wish he didn't break the tackle for, like, extra few yards. Man, my 6-1 is not humming. This probably will be the last drive of me in 6-1. I'm probably going to hop in the nickel wide after this uh, drive. Or maybe even during this drive. I should have, I, like I said, I wanted to play coverage. But I just, I feel like I'd be wasting my two edge threats. Well, honestly, they haven't really done anything. So I don't know what's going on with my guys. But once more, I told you about that Raiders run defense. Do not test it. It's really solid. I know you guys could agree with that. That Raiders run D is pretty good. Right here, once more in the match. Just going to run a little coverage. Maybe send a send a little blitz off the left. Right here, I told you, do not test the Raiders' run D. Look at Max Crosby. Absolute power driving Jalen Hurts. It's something Max Crosby would do in real life 100%. These animations are fire. I cannot even lie to you guys. That was an absolute fire animation. Right here, I'm going to need a big sequence from... My guy on the left edge, Chandler Jones, get your head in the game. Let's get a sack right here. I'm going to put Max Crosby in, in coverage. You know, it's not the best look, but, you know, I feel like this is this is a nice little shell to run. Um, just come on. Give me a little pressure, uh, Chandler. Just give me a little pressure off that left edge. we got edge to the lead. We don't have an uh, edge protector over there. And I'm not going to accept this because, you know, it's like a friendly. But in a, in a real game, we're accepting that 100%. Or had he been like the Niners or like the Chiefs, I'm accepting that. But, you know, I, I ain't got no love loss for the uh, Eagles. I don't mind them. They're, you know, they just, they made the Super Bowl. They're a really good team. They got hurts. Right here, come on, give me a little bit of pressure. And he throws that. We drop a pick with Diablo. We need tip drill right there, pick artist. We'll take it, though. Um, we are on a big down. Let's see what we could cook up because I'm telling you, the 6-1, it's, it's, it's good. It's got potential. But my guys are just a little too slow right now. They're definitely a little too slow. Um, we're going to have to just try to get a stop right here and see where we go from there. I'm going to man up the tight end. These are some risky adjustments. I'm going to probably move him right here. As long as, um, as long as you know, running back is on a route, then we should be good to go. We just need some pressure, man. We need some pressure. We need some pressure. We got some pressure. Whoever that was, Jerry Tillery, new add to the team, going crazy for us on that right edge. I wanted it to be Chandler Jones or even, you know, Mad Max, but they already made a few plays for us right there. We got the sack. He did have someone open. I knew he was going to verticals. 
But, you know, I, I just kind of like I couldn't sell out to him, man. I just really couldn't. Thankfully, it took him a little while to make that read. And we were good to go right here. Mike Meyer, the new tight end, the rookie tight end, the Darren Waller replacement with a nice catch to the 35 yard line. And we're cooking up right now, man. We are cooking up. He's running a lot of coverage defense. Thankfully, he's not blitzing us because we saw what, you know, Jimmy G looked like when you uh, <laughs> throw the ball under pressure. The ball absolutely sailed. Right here, Josh Jacobs in open field. This got to be a nice gain. We get 15 yards on that gain. And we are cooking, man. We also get ball at half, guys. Big thing to remember. Um, guys, if I were playing regs instead of Meyer, because he's a low overall right now, he might not be when the game drops. I would probably put OJ Howard. I might try that in a little bit. Right here. Ooh, that was almost a nasty free form. Not the best read. I'll, I'll, I'll take it, you know. Thankfully, he didn't get picked. Uh, but it was a good free form to kind of evade that defender. I should have thrown it a little bit earlier, but I was looking at Renfro on the slide, and he got pressed up. Right here, running sale and looking for this high low on the right or looking for Devontae Adams on the left. And we're going to have Tay Adams get pressured. And that's what I'm talking about with that pressure, man. It's very tough with QBs like Jimmy Garoppolo and non-QB uh, abilities like, you know, Gunslinger or Passy to to get the ball out this year. Gunslinger and Passy to are going to be necessities if you really want to pass almost like every play. Right here, we're really just trying to stay in field goal range, not mess up. You know, if we have a bomb, we might have a bomb. He's definitely sending the heat again. Like, it's a guarantee um, right here. Oh, we almost had Hunter Renfro going to the left side. That would have been a first, potentially a touchdown. But that, you know, you just got to tip your cap. That's just the game we play. He sent the heat. Got to respect it. Um, and he kind of he kind of PI'd our guy a little bit, you know. But it is what it is. The refs probably didn't see that one. As long as we get this kick up and good, we will be good. And going up 10 before half. Big sequence of events right here. We're allowed to give up three. But if we give up seven, it's going to be kind of... It's going to be a sweaty second half, 100%. Right here, he's taking off the kick. As long as we don't give up a big game, we'll be good. 22-yard line, 100% take that. All right, guys, it's time to move on to a different defense. Um, the 6-1 cheese isn't working this game. You know, we've gotten two stops, but they've been kind of like, due to our adjustments, our user, um, him missing a few reads. So we are going to hop in this 3-3-5 um, wide nickel 3-3-5 cub, and we're just going to try to get some shed D going on i still got my goons on the left edge and the right edge chandler jones and uh max crosby but i don't know man we gotta we just gotta get a stop right here i i think you can run wide with these guys it's not the worst i just gotta get like you know some pressure that's really what i need right now um we have a cloud flat right there and there goes the pressure we finally got a little bit of pressure from mad max crosby shout out my guy crazy pressure right there all right, guys, I'm probably going to move Chandler Jones to the inside. He's just a little too slow to have him on the outside. But trust me, guys, he will still be making plays with that edge set elite. And this is a better look for me right now. I could play coverage. I could f run freely with Paul Amal. Um, I can make more adjustments. I have Diablo on the left, who's much faster than Chandler Jones. I still have Chandler Jones in the game, but he's just now on the D-line. Right there, great play, great read. Uh, it gets a little too many rock yards for my liking, but it's all good. And, man, I missed those couple, you know, our secondary is completely new, man. We used to have a few pieces like Gary on Conley. Um, you know, we had, like, Charles Woodson for a couple years back. I know it's been a while. But, you know, we had pieces. Now, I don't know a lot of these new new guys on the team. Honestly, I'll keep it a buck. The only guy I really know is Morgan Nate Hobbs. Um, compared to, you know, years prior, we had, I'm trying to think right now. I just, I'm drawing a blank. We get some nice pressure right there from Tillery. Tillery's a dog. He's got almost two sacks on the day now. But like Jonathan Abram, you know, players like that. We used to have them on the team. They were very fast. They were pretty good at like Madden users and, you know, secondary pieces for Madden. You want that tall, aggressive, physical type of, you know, player build. And that though, that's what those players were. Right here, we're sending a little heat um, off the right and the left edge. I'm going to try to, you know, even fool him with my user. Right here, great pressure. There they go. Chandler Jones and Max Crosby. I'm not going to... I'll call a timeout right now. Okay, he's going to call a timeout. He messed up. He came out on spike. But there they go, creating some pressure off that right edge. That's a nasty – you know, I got them on the, both on the same side. That's a nasty trio. And how did? How could I forget? I got to put him in. I don't know where he's at. Um, but, you know, where's my dog Wilson? Uh, my, my dog Wilson, bro. Tyree Wilson. There we go. We got him in the game now finally. My fault about that, guys. Trust me. Like, it threw me off. Like, I'm like, where are where's my dog? And I couldn't find him. And – I forgot they got him low, rated lower than he is. 
trust me, he won't be a 50 overall or whatever it just said. He'll be up there in the 70s, maybe even the 80s. Um, but that threw me out a lot. I was trying to find him for the longest. I'm like, where is this guy? I know I'm missing one more piece. I should have had him in 6-1. I might start off the second half in 6-1 with him on the field, 100%. Let's just try to get the stop right here. I'm going to man up. Um, I think that's uh, Devontae Smith on the, on the right, and I'm protecting the sticks. Trying to get a little pressure. That's what we're going to get. And that's going to be a book with Nate Hobbs. We're going to try to take it to the Baja. We kind of glitch out for a second. It's all good. We're almost in field goal range for Carlson, who's a, a, a phenomenal kicker. All we need right here is about 10 yards, and we might be in field goal range. Um, we're going to run this play once more. It had potential last time. I just got sacked. And let's see if we have potential again. And please don't pick it. Thank you. We got we catch a lucky break right there. Four for nine with Jimmy G. Not the not too hot, man. I mean, I kind of got PI'd right there, man. I kind of got PI'd, but man, I, I'll take it, man. I'll take the fluke. You gotta take the fluke when you get it, and you gotta embrace it. And that's how you're gonna get more flukes. Right here, Philip Dorset try to hit a nice juke to the inside. It's all good. We're gonna use our time. I should win outside, uh, out of bounds in hindsight, but you know, I don't. I'm not really cooking up too well on offense to be, you know, trying to attempt to get seven right here. I mean, we're obviously going to go for it, but it's going to be a little tougher uh, than usual to get this, especially without a QB cam, especially without, you know, some speed. We're going to hit a Josh Jacobs on this angle route. Try to hit a juke to the inside, and that had some potential. We got one play before half. Uh, who are we going to? We know who we're going to. Do you, I know who I'm going to. Do you know who I'm going to? Um, his name is Tay. He's got red zone threat. We're throwing this dang near almost no matter what. I, I, if he's on the left safety, which I expect him to be, because he likes being on that guy. It's going to be a little tough. We're just going to throw this and pray for the best. And that's what we get. We get the best. Devontae Adams, he's a beast. He's the top dog in the NFL for a reason. He bails us out. And that's just one of those calculated risks. I mean, you know, it could have gone picked, sure. But I'm already up 10. I get ball at half. We'll take the risk right there. We'll take the chance. He does have red zone threat. I should have thrown it a little earlier. But nonetheless, we catch a break and we get our feet in bounds. Devontae Adams absolutely bullying. I think that was James Bradbury on that left side. And 17-0 at half, we will 100% take it. And my guy, User Lyric, he's definitely a solid opponent. So, you know, it's not like I'm playing just any, any random person. I'm playing a really top-tier player. Uh, he does a lot of content on TikTok. I'll leave a link in the description to go check him out. And he is king of regs, honestly. He loves playing regs. He knows he uses every team. I went in the stream and he was using the Titans. I'm like, bro, who's he, who uses the Titans, right? Um, but he, this guy was using the Titans. He was having fun. So go check him out. But back to what we're doing. We're cooking up. We got two players zoned up, man. We cannot take event. We cannot waste this. We got just win, baby. Look in the bottom right. While winning, home team gains more momentum and, and fatigue recovery. So if we're tired, we're gonna get you know re regain quicker. We got away team has trouble with coverage and home players involved in touchdowns or takeaways enter the zone. So we got our zones. We got double me. And then I believe wrecking ball it was right here. Boom. We're going to hit it to the wrecking ball. Let's see what he could do for us one time. That was not wrecking ball. We got wrecked. We were the ones on the wrecking ball. But there's no way we're, we got wrecking ball and we just get absolutely pummeled by a corner or a safety. Like, come on, man. Like, show some respect to Jacobs. We're going to give him another chance. Run his ass over. That's what I want to see. Run his ass over. I'll take it. I know he's tired. Man, we'll take that. And he's still tired. I'm not going to waste the time out. There's no point in doing that. But like I said, man, you got to utilize your running back as much as your opponent gives it to you in this year's Madden. It's just really the best way to play. Like, it's so easy. I'm really not even making a read. I'm just finding if Jacobs has a crease, and I'm throwing it to him. Right here, you know who we're going to. Don't mess this up, Jimmy G. Devontae Adams. I need to go and snag a jersey. That was absolutely clean. I got double me. You know what that means? You got to double him. And he did not. I took my chance. Jimmy G, with it, honestly, I kind of underthrew it. I'm not even going to blame him. I kind of underthrew it. I wanted to rack that into the end zone. As soon as I seen it was going to be closer, I'm like, all right, bro. We got to one-hand snag this. And that was so clean. I mean, that honestly turned out better than just a normal wide-open rack touchdown. Devontae Adams is absolutely cooking Bradbury. And I'm shocked, you know. I know he might not even be thinking about this, but I would 100% put Slay on Devontae Adams. That would have made me have to work much harder. Slay has inside zone acrobat and I think a KO ability. He's really souped up in regs. And as he deserves it, you know, he's a beast in real life. 
But man, it, if if he had Slay on uh, Tay, I would you know definitely have a, a much harder problem trying to get him open. Here we go. We got Tyree Wilson now finally on the D line. We got Chandler Jones. Boom, boom, boom. And let's just try to run six one one more time. We could try to run six one. Uh, my guys are zoned up now. This is gonna be a nightmare for my guy uh, if we could get a little pressure off the right edge. Honestly, I should be sending five uh, or like four. But, you know, we'll take it. There he goes. Hit his ass. And there we go. A big hit stick with Nate Hobbs. Um, I'm going to play coverage right here. Because, you know, if we got, if you have, this is like a simple Madden right here. If you got a guy, in, you know, on the D-line in the zone, he's going to shed it better. He might as well run coverage until his, his thing goes away. So, we're right here, we're going to run a lot of coverage. Um, just really just trying to play coverage. He's going to hit this verticals route. And I got quick hacked, honestly. And we missed the tackle. I'm not even tripping about it, but the thing was, I wanted to see Mad Cro Max Crosby go berserk off that right edge, and he still definitely can, but, you know, it's it's kind of more... Hey, there we go, Tyree. First sack of your NFL career, young man. I, I'm sorry I forgot about you until the second half, but, man, we'll take it for sure. He's got absolutely nothing open. We're going to pick that off with the new animations they added in the EA. Shout out my guy, Faskin. We're gonna we're gonna continue to pass it up and run it up. I didn't want to return that pick because we got too many players in the zone and we gotta continue cooking up with them. Right here, he's showing me that he's using this guy on the uh, top. If he's sending a blitz, I'll have the guy wide open to the right. And we don't. Um, great defense right there. I wanted to throw it to Devonte again, but the thing was he's kind of covered. I still have him in the zone, I believe. The thing is, I don't know if I have. Um, oh, I do. I still have Josh Jacobs in the zone, thankfully. So. My whole team is cooking up right now. My whole team is eating. Um, I'm not going to lie. This Raiders playbook is really fire. If you want a mini scheme on this, if you want me to break it down more in depth, the money plays, the cheese plays. As you see right there, Devontae Adams had that man in skates. Skirt. Tried to double skirt. I'm still working on my skirt. Um, and we'll have that up by the end of the year. It's good to be back and doing videos again. I'm definitely hyped for the season. This is a fun gameplay. It's so fun recording gameplays, man, especially when, you know, they're going like this. Hopefully you guys are still watching. I know it's a little blowout right now, but, you know, it's still it's still top tier Madden. It's still me using the Raiders. It's still me making plays happen. And this is some free game, right? I'm telling you guys what I'm thinking is going on. We got Jimmy G looking like a surgeon right now. Um, if you were to use the Raiders, I 100% run like strong close or something. And that way, you know, you could use uh, Hunter Renfro and Devontae Adams when you need to, but really utilize the run game and Josh Jacobs. I know our O-line isn't the best this year, but you could still run the ball, man. You could still run the ball if you find money plays and money runs. Right here, we're trying to go back to this play. It has It's 0 for 2 for us so far. I got a feeling it's going to work right here if we get some time. And that feeling was a correct. There goes Devontae Adams for his third touchdown of the day. Shout out my guy. Hopefully he does this in real life. I know he's got it. 30 to 0, man. I know user lurk is like, I, he's better than this. I, like, you know, I know he, how he's feeling right now. It's tough to use, like, you know, your favorite team. You know, you're, you're so used to using the Jets and the Chiefs. Uh, but sometimes you just got to, you know, run with your favorite team and have a little fun. Devontae with three touchdowns. I know you guys who have him at Fantasy going berserk. Team of the week, Devontae coming out. Man, this is, this is a fun game play. All right, guys, he's down in the end zone, the red zone. Hopefully he's, uh, you know, he's just trying to play to not get skunked type of thing. Or what? I still got my foot on the metal. Right here, great read. Quez walking, such a speed demon, man. So tough to defend him. And right here, this is really the perfect time to run 6-1. And not only run 6-1, but we're going to shade down. Make things harder on him to get something open. And that's what it, exactly what I'm talking about. He sent out all his routes, and we end up getting a B-gap. Right here, we're going to play hard flats on the left and man up the running back. He ran the ball. And I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, this Raiders defense is just it's tough to run. Six rushes for 18 yards. And that more, might be more as well. Like, you know, it's tougher to run in this game. Definitely find, find it a little tough to run in this game. I don't have the best stick, like I told you guys. Um, but there we go. Great defensive play right there. Let's see if we can hold the skunk, man. If we hold the skunk. Or if we let him in the end zone. Let's see what he goes with. Is he going to run stretch? No way he runs stretch right here, guys, right? He might run stretch, and he ends up calling stretch. We had Max Crosby there. We had a bunch of players there, man. It's You're not running on my Raiders. They are too good in the run game. We got demons everywhere. 
Shout out my Raiders for holding it down for me in this gameplay. Now let's get out of here with a W. I'm not the type to run it up. We already have 31. We're going to just try to clock this game out, run it. And look at this run, man. I'm telling you, the Raiders are the, the Raiders are it. That could have been a touchdown had I been a little, you know, had I had a little bit better stick work. But, man, this really comes down to the fact that, um, you know, we have running back master chemistry. We have Devontae Adams. Who, ooh, I might go here. I might go up top to Devontae on this play if he runs this cover uh, zero blitz. And he doesn't, but we have open reads and open dots. Nice play right there. He ran a little bit of cover three. I couldn't tell if that was cover one hole or cover zero or cover uh, three. End up being cover three. This Raiders performance and Raiders roster right now only leaves one thing in mind. Maybe two. What if we had Darren Waller? What if we had Derek Carr? I'm going to miss my dogs tremendously. I know it's the time to start a new generation and, you know, start a new re uh, start a new team and a new future or whatever. But, man, those dudes, if they were on this team, I'm not even talking about Madden's standpoint, even though they would be crazy for Madden. Imagine Darren Waller with that tight end apprentice going deep on those tight end posts and corner routes. Um, this team would be insanely stacked if we had those two players. Jimmy Garoppolo got it done in this gameplay. No ifs, ands, and buts. Can't really complain. As I say that, I throw a hook. That's on me. It was not open. Um, I kind of just try to see if that was open or not. It clearly was not. But yeah, man, if we had DC4, we had Darren Waller. I know they're going to be really good on their respected teams, the Giants and the Saints. I'll be rooting for those guys forever. I'm not one of those guys, you know, salty Raiders fan. You know, I'll always root for Raiders when they go on to their own different teams, no matter what happens. So I can't wait to watch them. I am excited for this season. Football is finally among us, guys. I, I, who do we play? I think we play the Broncos week one. And we swept them twice last year. It's going to be a different story this time. I think Russ is going to be cooking. But let me know what your predictions are for the Raiders 2023 season. As right there, Max Crosby gets his, another sack. Probably his final sack of the gameplay. And we see how we have four sacks to his one. And yeah, man, that's just... I'm ready for the season. Um, let me know what your predictions are for the record. I, it's going to be a tough schedule, but I think we could definitely sneak in nine wins and maybe be a wild card team. Jimmy Garoppolo has veteran leadership. I know it's really going to come down to our defense, man. If our defense is balling out and hooping for us, Jimmy G, I trust him to lead the team, be a game manager. He has offensive weapons left and right. Three tight ends, Austin Hooper, who's really good. Uh, OJ Howard, who's solid as well. And then obviously the rookie, Meyer. Our O-line needs to prove itself this year. And those are, those are some kind of big notes for me in, about the Raiders season. I know you guys are as ha excited as I am. Definitely going to go to a game this year or something. And there goes Max Crosby again with another sack. GG's in the chat to my guy, User Lurk. I'm going to get him right. I'm going to you know, play him again sometime. And go check out his channel. I know he does a lot of TikTok short form content type of stuff. Go check him out. He's a part of this Game Changers program. I'm going to get him right. And we're going to run it back sometime soon. There it is, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Great game, great performance. I'm loving this Raiders team. I'm going to be using them quite a bit. Like this video, subscribe with that push notification. If you want more Madden 24 Raiders content, there's so much content out there with this Raiders team. If you want a franchise with them, I can run a franchise. Just comment and let me know what it is that you want to see. And I got you, boys. Shout out my Raider Nation. I'll catch you guys for week one of that NFL season. Let's go, Raiders. Just one, baby.